So we all, everyone. We believe that we still have good intentions and good opportunities to implement our idea. Because one of the key Russian narratives, how to argument their negative stance against the tribunal, it's untimely. Okay, in two months, we will have the final and ultimate report. And what would Russia say in two months? And we will definitely try again with all kind of support of international community. So any kind of political and legal threats, including ICG, it's a point of no return. Ukraine will never get back to this messy post-Soviet reality. But we have to work on reforms, especially on key systemic reforms, how to tackle corruption, how to decentralize the country, because we can't uh, carry out any kind of actions through Kyiv, through, uh, through the capital. We need to make our governance more effective. And of course, we need to reshuffle our justice system. We need rule of law to be fully in place. Embassy around 3 a.m. seeing how... And this tribunal is not about politics. It's not about politicizing. And we need to be effective and successful in this war. Of course, we can't win militarily, but we must not to lose this war. And because of that, it's our dream about democratic, united, and European Ukraine. And for Russia, it's a completely different vision. And we will win because we have the right to do so, and we have support for, of international community. In Donetsk and Lugansk, in the Crimea, but this tribunal is